to use a coping saw, get your work in place. Now you can see that I want to be cutting out this circle and I've got waist lines on to show which bit I'm going to cut off. You hold the saw with two hands and you need to ensure that your feet are together and bend your knees so you can come down and look at the work. So because I want to cut out the circle, I need to actually start my saw right at an angle, so not up like this, but right at an angle. I also need to make sure that I keep my blade nice and straight, so there should be a right angle here. So I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. Okay, you can see that there's a right angle there. If your work is moving too much, backwards and forwards, you just need to lower it down in the vise. Now because I've run out of space, what I do need to do is start sawing again, but bringing it out backwards. If I were just to pull it out, it could be that the blade snaps. Then you need to turn your work round and continue. Thank <laughs> you.